Africa, known for her beauty and wildlife. But it is also a continent that faces very unique environmental challenges. It is often a lack of knowledge that is responsible for destroying wilderness areas. People we are not that much aware about conservation and the importance of conservation. And community involvement was not like that much. So it's like, you stay away from this. We're going to protect it. You're not going to get it. But as populations grow, it is becoming increasingly important to educate communities and make them part of conserving their environment. Um, I think the biggest challenge in conservation in Zambia is uh, the increase of populations in the GMAs, the game management areas, which increases the issue of human wildlife conflict, the conflict between elephants and people. And this encroachment is a problem all over the continent. They are, they are here, they will live next to the, to the protected area uh, forever. So they are part of conservation. They will live together with the animals, so we cannot run away, we cannot just leave them out. We have to manage with them so that we, we go ahead with conservation. To address these and other unique environmental issues, the Southern African Wildlife College was established in 1998 as a joint initiative of the Worldwide Fund for Nature and the Peace Parks Foundation. The Wildlife College is situated just outside the Kruger National Park. It forms part of the Greater Limpopo Transfrontier area. So we have access to the a Big Five Game Reserve. We have access to huge amounts of plants and animals for our students to, to study. We have a facility that's state of the art in the middle of the bush. So yes, we can train both practically and theoretically very well here at the Wildlife College. Attention. The college teaches a wide range of courses to help conservation managers in Southern Africa with the challenges they face at work. So we do time management so that we can be able to discipline ourselves and then time management also allows us to do things accordingly, according to the plan that we have done. My favorite subject was community development. In Southern Africa, in Wildlife College, you meet different people. It's not like you, you meet uh, different individuals from different countries with different cultures and different backgrounds, and you tend to learn different things uh, socially. It's, it was quite interesting and nice. Another unique aspect of the college is the outreach work it does. With the help of Toyota, former students are visited in the areas where they work. Information gathered here helps the college to adjust their courses to make sure they stay relevant to real life situations. It is also a time for old friends to catch up. I think we would see this day. Yeah. You always come in that side. Yeah. Yes, wow. good, good. Who are the extension officers here? Charity. I was very excited to see people from Southern African Wildlife College. I graduated there in, 19, uh, in 2002. So it has been seven years ago. So I was really happy to see them. For the college, it is very important to support former students in their place of work and to bring new skills. Mana Pools in Zimbabwe is a good example. We are operating this park without a uh, uh, budget. Uh, without budget, it means no resources. So it's a very, very big challenge to us uh, working in, in this uh, national park. Jenny Newman leaves behind a very simple way to determine the water quality of the streams and rivers in the park. So the mini SAS is part of um, uh, the environmental education program and one of the skills we're hoping to impart with the community members and some of the past Wildlife College students. In northern Malawi, community outreach officers all former students of the Wildlife College play an environmental game with community leaders. First, I have to tell them the value of wildlife so that they should appreciate. Because if one appreciates the value of that thing, automatically he conserves. 
she or she, he, he conserve because he, he see the tangible benefit from that. Just another example of how wildlife college alumni are changing the communities in which they work. I really enjoy being here because it's like it strengthened my knowledge and it's like exposed me to the different type of nature and how things are done over here. So I really learn a lot, especially in the college, how things are done. And also I learn a lot from my colleagues. I really thank them. I really learn a lot from them. In fact, my life has really changed. Uh, after completion of my training in Southern African Wildlife College, I've been so confident on delivering my duties. And we had uh, topics very relevant to our work. But the impact on lives doesn't stop with the knowledge the students gained. The new skills also help them in the workplace. Because of the trainings that I've received, my certificate and diploma programs, uh, it made me rise through the ranks up to my present grade of area manager. But I have uh, gone through uh, three ranks, from uh, ranger two up to wildlife officer. He, apart from being promoted, I'm, I've changed the way how I'm working, the way how I understand uh, conservation, and the way how I'm managing. And that includes even the human resources management. The college offers relevant education that addresses real needs and benefits the environment. Conservation in Africa will always have its challenges, and I truthfully believe that this college is dynamic and flexible enough to always try and address those challenges as best as we can, with donor support and the support of our past students giving us the feedback of what's going on in their countries. I know that this college is going to be able to have an impact on these challenges for many years to come.